Imagine that you're driving down a major highway. A tractor trailer loses control and crushes another car, setting everything on fire. Would you stop? Well, my next guest did just that. And what he did next was truly remarkable. Please welcome today's Harvey's hero, Ken. Thank you. Welcome to the show, Ken. Welcome, Steve. Pleasure Good. to be here. Hey, man, listen, uh, tell us what happened. Well, my brother and I had left our restaurant, and we were on our Eden's Expressway, and a uh, semi-truck uh, out of nowhere jackknifed in the middle of the highway at Tower Road, and it uh, exploded. Back of the truck was up in the air, and we didn't realize what happened, and slammed on my brakes and pulled to the side of the road. My brother and I jumped out of the car immediately, and I went around the back of the truck, jumped the median, and heard some women screaming under the truck, smashed. There was a car under the truck. Under the truck. And, uh, and that's when I decided that I was going to go to the car and, um, and help them out and do what I could. By the time I got them over the median, um, the woman's arm was on fire, the, the daughter's jacket was on fire, the woman's hair was on fire. So putting all that out, as I was rubbing uh, Gloria's arm, uh, the skin was coming off. I mean, it was, it was to see it. And then getting them over the median, we almost got hit by our car. Everybody was racing by. Nobody wanted to stop. Wow. So the mother and the daughter, they, they survived this whole thing? They survived, and they saved their limbs. She was in a coma for, I believe, 16 days. OK. And the daughter, I mean, the daughters, her hands had all been melted together from uh, covering, but she was able to save her face. And after she had come out of the coma. Which one was in the coma? The, uh, the mother. OK. To find out that uh, during this whole process, um, she had lost her home. She lost everything that she owned. She was basically being told in the hospital that she had nothing. And if that wasn't enough, what, what turned me was I'm a big fan of unconditional. And what I found out was that it took her that long to get out of the car or start because her daughter's seatbelt was stuck. She had no intentions of leaving that car without her daughter, and she had every intentions of dying. Um, for me, to see unconditional yeah. happen was a greater gift than I could have ever, ever, ever asked in life. And at that point, I said, what can I do to repay these people for what they gave me? Tell everybody how you uh, continue to help Gloria. Well, she didn't have a home. She didn't have money. And we decided to put together a fundraiser. We had all these people that came together, and, and we raised a lot of money. And we were able to find her home, mm. a little three-bedroom. And people from all over the world sent letters of appreciation, letters of get well, which was as important as the donations. There are still, I mean, you have a 10-year-old girl, now 11 years old. She will never know what it was to have both working hands. And, and this is how it'll be forever. And um, she needs help. They need to know that people are around that care. Well, well um, they're here. And so, uh, Gloria and Gianna, come on out. Oh, my God. Look at you. Oh, you look so beautiful. Oh, my God. Look how beautiful you look. Gloria, you have something you want to say? Yes. I want to say thank you, first of all, for being courageous and going into okay. my car that was in flames and helping us, saving us, and also, Throughout this past year, you've been there for us, you know, and I just think you're a wonderful man. Thank you. You're Thank beautiful. you so much. You're beautiful. We love you. Wonderful. Especially what a pleasure. Ken, uh, to put yourself at risk for the sake of somebody else is just absolutely incredible, and that's why today you're Harvey's hero. 
And we had a jacket made for you. Because you are, Ken, really a Harvey's hero, man. Thank you so much. I think you're a great guy, man. I love the story. I really did. That's my little family. But we also know, Gloria, uh, that you and your daughter have been through some very, very difficult times. And Ken is committed to doing everything to help you rebuild your lives. And we want to help, too. So we reached out to our friends at Green Dot. And to help, they're giving you a $5,000 oh. on a Green Dot reloadable prepaid card. <laughs> That's for you. <laughs> if you want to find out more about Green Dot, uh, head over to SteveHarveyTV.com. I want to thank all my guests, Ken. Thank Special you. thanks to you. Gloria, God bless you all. We'll be right back, folks. Thank you.